there, it's Farmer Brad here, and uh, I'm gonna try to do something that I have never done before. Try to get Buttercup the cow in a trailer. So I'm borrowing a trailer from our uh, farm friend uh, up the road and uh, going to take Buttercup uh, to get her bread so that hopefully next April we'll have a calf. Um, part of the reason for it is uh, right now I think Buttercup thinks that she's a sheep. Uh, so it would give her another cow to, uh, I guess, be more cow-like. Or we'll have two cows that both think that they're sheep. We'll see. Uh, the other thing too is with having a calf, then we'll be able to uh, try to milk her uh, a buttercup and see how that goes to see whether or not we want to fully commit to milking a cow. But once you really uh, get her going, uh, then she'll end up producing more milk than the calf can handle. And so then you sort of get in the rhythm of having to milk her uh, consistently. Uh, so we're not sure if we wanna fully commit to that. Either way, um, the end goal would be to have another calf, uh, have another cow on the farm. Uh, so um, we're looking into doing that. Uh, so let me show you uh, my strategy for getting buttercup into this trailer so i have a bucket full of cracked corn uh which is the bait and i'm going to open this side of the trailer to funnel her in this way unfortunately if that touches the fence like it is right now it electrifies the the fence, which is not great. Um, so I'm going to put this cracked corn there and see if she gets interested in it. Then this part of the gate is going to swing over here and should fill in this gap. Now there is a possibility of getting sheep in the trailer as well. But the sheep should be fairly easy to get out. Buttercup! Come on, Buttercup! Come on, Buttercup! Come here! Come here, Buttercup! Buttercup! Got corn! Come on, Buttercup. Come on, Buttercup. Come on, you got this. Come on. Come on, Buttercup. Yeah, that's corn. You want some more? Come on up here. Buttercup. And she wants to go back. Oh, well, she's liking the tall grass. Come on, Buttercup. Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh. It's okay. It's okay, Buttercup. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, she did not like that shock. Okay, I'm gonna put this barrel uh, to keep the gate from being electrified. Oh my goodness. Okay, that keeps it off there. So now to attempt number three, I can get on the other side of her. I can maybe motivate her to go towards the trailer. Come on, Buttercup. Good girl. Good girl. You got this. So it all comes down to this. Will Buttercup get in the trailer for the whole shebang? 
it's all kind of falling apart. Stop. No. So I got some more corn in there. Let's see if she changes her mind. Stop. Uh, so I have a chicken feed bag that I'm just shaking. And I'd say if some of the sheep go in here, the buttercup will probably go in here. Come here, Marshall. So they're starting to go up in there. Let's see if buttercup joins them. I think buttercup wants a piece of that corn action. So I think if I hang back and just let her get eat up that corn and then go to the bucket, she might go into. Now last time it shocked her, but I think she really wants that other corn. So I'll wait till she's like way up in the trailer and then sneak up and shut the door. The sheep don't run out of corn too soon. Okay, I'll put a little bit more pressure on Buttercup. This is the damage that Buttercup did. I got her in and uh, some damage to the chicken run. This cab better be worth it. <laughs> Take you and meet your boyfriend. So I got Buttercup in the trailer finally. It was a lot of work. Um, she's in there. So now I need to go get some gas and take her to the other farm. Here's Buttercup checking her new neighbors out. So Buttercup is off to learn how to be a cow and hopefully get bred and have a calf. Um, in exchange for that, I'm uh, gonna be incubating some more peafowl chicks or eggs uh, to hopefully hatch out. Well, let's just say it was a little tricky for my truck to handle that trailer. Um, it's a two wheel, 
manual truck and um, kind of felt like it was gonna break. Uh, probably needs some new leaf springs to be able to handle pulling some more weight, but uh, I'm glad it's uh, done and then I'll have to do it again when uh, it's time to pick her up. Uh, Buttercup's probably going to stay at cow camp for uh, two, um, two months to make sure that she gets bred and uh, it'll be good. Uh, she'll be able to socialize with quite a few cows uh, since she only really has uh, sheep and marshal to uh, get be entertained by. So hope you enjoyed this video um, and I'll keep you updated on uh, Buttercup's uh, future pregnancy. Take care.